offset. That's right. We are going to be finding the offset. Thank you, Migos, for the shout out. So when we talk about finding the offset, we kind of talked about in the last video, we're going to be looking for where we overwrite the EIP because that's what we want to control. Now, lucky for us, there is a tool already out there that will help us do this. And this tool is provided by Metasploit Framework. It's called Pattern Create. So in our Kali machine, we're going to go ahead and just get that set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to say user share Metasploit Framework tools exploit pattern create. Okay, now we're going to have to give this a couple switches, actually just one for the first one. We're going to give it a switch of L for length and the switch of L we're going to say 3000. So why 3000? Well, if you remember the last video, what happened was we found somewhere around 2,700 bytes is where the Voln server program crashed. And then I said, hey, let's just make it an even 3,000. It'll be nice. This is where it comes into play. So we're going to take 3,000 bytes and we're going to hit enter here. And what's going to happen is it's going to generate this crazy cyclical code here that we're going to actually have to send into immunity and Voln server. So you see all this jumbled stuff. All we're going to do is just take it and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to modify our script that we created earlier just a little bit. And I've gone ahead and done that. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead. I called it 2.py. If you want to modify your 1.py and make it easier from the last video. And then I did a little test here just to make sure it worked. But what we're going to do is we're going to paste this value into here. But first, I want to cover this script. So remove some things, remove the time because we don't need it. We still have the import sys and socket. We don't need a, like a wall loop anymore. We can just say try. And we're going to do the same connection. Just try in the connection. Make sure we connect to that address. And then we're going to send this offset, right? So I'm going to go ahead and paste that value into here. You can go ahead and work on getting this set up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to send this value and then we're going to close the connection. If for some reason we cannot access it, then we'll throw an exception and say air connecting to server and then we'll exit out. Um, so what we're going to do is when we send this in, we're going to get a value on the EIP. So we're going to see that the program crashes and then the value on the EIP is going to come back. And then we're going to use a tool. And we're going to say, Hey, okay, Metasploit, I found this value on the EIP. What is the offset? So we've got this pattern create right now, and then we're going to have pattern offset here in a second. So let's go ahead and get this saved up. Once you're ready, go ahead, hit save. Same thing again, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change the mode like we did last time to execute on 2.py. And also we're going to need to get immunity running and Voln server running. So I'm going to do that really quick here. Okay, it should look like this. Hit play, make sure we're running in the bottom, and then go ahead and fire off that script. Okay, should throw an exception right away. And you see now that we have this trun command that came through with our values that we sent, right? You see the cyclical value goes to the A's, it crosses over the EBP, down the EIP, even comes through the ESP, right? So what we're doing here is we have completely overwritten everything. Um, we've gone too far because we've crossed this ESP, but really what we're interested in is this EIP. We want to be able to control this value. So we see this value in here is 386F4337 right here. This is what we need and we're interested in. So let's see how we can make this value of use. So if we come back to the screen, and let's just tab up a couple and we'll go here and just backspace. What we're going to say is instead of pattern create, all we're going to say is pattern offset. We're going to give it the same switch of L and we're going to say 3000. But one thing we need to add in here is a switch of Q and that's for our finding. So our finding was 386 F as in Foxtrot. 4337. And now if we hit enter here and we did it right, we should find a pattern offset, meaning that somewhere inside of these 3000 bytes, it found this pattern and it relayed back to it. 
So if you see here, we actually do have an exact offset match at 2003 bytes. This information is critical because that tells us now that at 2003 bytes, we can control the EIP. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video. We're gonna look at the EIP and see if we can control it. So we're gonna to try to overwrite it with very specific bytes and see if those bytes show up. So let's go ahead and move on to there.